Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a bit since we've done a video. I've been out busy and sick, so we thought we'd uh, do one today. So today we're going to talk about well pumps and what the wire sizes are and how to wire them. So stick around. Now, there's a couple different uh, sizes and a diff couple different kinds of well pumps. Uh, there's basically two main types that you're going to see in your house. One is a deep well pump where the well goes in, or sorry, the pump goes into the well. And the other one is a jet pump where the pump is actually inside your house or above ground. They typically have a line that runs into a well, whether it be drilled or dug well, with a foot valve on them to keep them the water from flowing back out. So what happens is, is every time the pump starts, it sucks water up through the pipe and goes into the pressure tank and holds pressure. Um, additionally, sometimes with a drilled well, the uh, they can be used on a drilled well, although not uh, recommended. So with a drilled well, uh, you usually have a, a deep well pump or a pump that goes right down in the well, and that's usually a four wire uh, connection. So if you have that type, that's what we're going to talk about today behind me. So we'll take the covers off and chat about it. So here we have a standard uh, drilled well pump system. And basically on the wall there we have a disconnect where our 240 volt comes from our panel. And then we have the uh, pressure tank and the pressure switch and the starter. So typically these wells are two, 220 or 240 volt single phase um, and they require usually a 12 gauge or a 10 gauge wire run from the panel. Inside this is just a disconnect, as you can see it's simple on and off, and that wires, if we get the stay up here, yeah, I'm going to get a screwdriver. So typically if we have a look inside, I'm going to pop this cover off, you're going to see, actually this one's from a 10 gauge, so on the outside of the pump here, you're going to see coming from our panel, we have 10 gauge here on the outside which is the line of the disconnect, and then on the inside we have AC90 which is actually the load. So we're going to shut this off and that AC90 comes down and goes through the pressure switch and then goes up to the starter. So what happens is, is the power goes, whenever the pressure gets low, the pressure switch, which I'll show you here, calls for pressure and it closes the circuit. As you can see. So on top of this, you'll see two sets of terminals here, one here and one here. Whenever the pressure gets down, this closes and allows power to flow through up to the starter. What happens then is the starter kicks in, which actually starts the deep well pump, which goes out there, and sucks the water back into the house until the pressure is reached its proper PSI. So it's usually between anywhere between 30 and 60 PSI that the plumbers usually set them for. Now, inside the starter, which is the important part, which is why you guys probably came to this video, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Get this off. Here. So inside the starter, you can see there's a relay and a capacitor, okay? And this is for a three-quarter horsepower pump, and it has a number of terminals on the bottom of it. And it shows you also a wiring diagram. So basically, what runs out to the pump is a red, a yellow, a bl and a black. So those three wires are for a three-wire pump with capacitor that start that pump. These are usually commonly used on deeper wells so that they can suck power from a deeper depth. And in addition to this, these wires, as you can see, are a little bit bigger. I believe these are 10 gauge. And the, the farther down the well, or the farther down, deeper down the, the pump, the bigger gauge wire, because it's gonna pull more amperage. Okay, so generally, you're gonna see anywhere between 14 gauge, uh, 12 gauge, or 10 gauge. 10 gauge being the largest, largest, depending on the size of the pump that's in, and depending on the depth of the well. So one of the questions you may ask yourself is, well, how come the wire is bigger if it's only a three-quarter horsepower motor? Typically these motors, or these deep well pumps, are between half horsepower right up to one horsepower, but the most common two sizes are half horsepower and three-quarter horsepower for residential uses for domestic water, okay? Now, the reason that the 
the wires are bigger is because the well is deeper and you're going to get voltage drop. So if you start getting into a three or 400 foot well, you need a bigger wire to have less resistance to carry that amperage so that pump can run. You follow? So the, the less or the shallower the well, so if it's only say a 100 foot well, then they're more likely going to use a smaller or a higher gauge wire, which could be 12 gauge or 14 gauge. It really depends on how deep the well is. That's for a deep well pump. Now with a jet pump, one that you would have inside, they're pretty much standard. So they come usually around half horsepower or three quarter, and they're usually wired with 12 gauge or 12 two right from the panel. Now I have seen them in 10 gauge or 10 two, depending on if they've been configured in 120 or 240 volt. So if there is a 120 volt pump, it's gonna generally tend to draw a higher amperage because it's an inductive load. If it's a higher voltage, it's gonna draw less amperage because double the voltage. So normally that only works on inductive loads, it doesn't work on resistive loads. But as for the purposes of this video, I would say that 12 gauge is the most common. For an example, a tw uh, sorry, a half horsepower deep well pump at 100 feet only draws four amps at 240 volts. So it's not much of a draw, and that's why we usually go with 12 gauge, sometimes even 14, depending on what we're doing. So today we reviewed pumps and what size wire, and that's the whole reason why you came here. We hope you liked this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time on the next video. Have a good day.